Armando Hasunan, and Biology Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasunan. Just recapping, the cell cycle consists of two main phases, the interphase and the M phase. Mitosis uh, occurs within the M phase, and mitosis is the process where a cell will divide to produce two daughter cells. The first phase of mitosis is prophase. Here we have a cell with um, the duplicated chromosomes. Um, just recapping what we see in prophase, we have the centrosomes, those important structures for cell division. They begin forming a what's called mitotic spindle. Looking at the genetic material of the cell during prophase, it will have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes with 92 chromatids because one chromosome has two chromatids. This structure in the middle here, holding uh, the duplicated chromosome together, is known as a centromere, and it is important to know. Centromere and centrosome sounds familiar, but don't get mixed up. So during prophase, the chromosomal material condenses to form a compact mitotic chromosome, so it becomes visible, the chromosomes essentially. The cytoskeleton is then disassembled, and mitotic uh, spindle is assembled. So the centrosomes form a mitotic spindle. The nuclear envelope is also dispersed, so the, nu the, the nucleus membrane essentially uh, starts, uh, starts degrading to allow these chromosomes to be free, you can say. Now prophase will then enter metaphase. The cell in prophase will then enter metaphase. Metaphase itself has an early stage and a late stage. Let's look at the early stage first, known as prometaphase. Here we have the, the chromosomes just in the cytoplasm. We have the uh, centrosomes, remember, forming the mitotic spindle, you will see in prometaphase that the cell will still have the fragments of the nuclear envelope that was uh, degrading. The centrosomes itself will form the mitotic spindle by shooting out these microtubules that will connect to the centromere of the chromosome, the middle part of the duplicated chromosome. So during prometaphase, the chromosomal microtubules attach to connector cores of the chromosomes. Chromosomes are then moved to the spindle equator, which is essentially, the spindle equator is the middle of the cell, the equator of the cell. Looking at the genetic material of the cell during prometaphase, it will still have 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. The cell in prometaphase will then enter metaphase, the late stage, where the chromosomes, the duplicated chromosome, will, will align on the equator. The centrosomes are on opposite side of each other in the cell, and they form a massive mitotic spindle with the microtubules. In metaphase, so the chromosomes are aligned along the metaphase plate, which is the equator here. This is a metaphase plate. The duplicated chromosomes that are aligned on the metaphase plate will then be attached by, by the chromosomal microtubules um, at both poles. What this means is that the, centra, the, the centrosomes on each of the poles will have microtubules um, attaching to the same uh, chromosomes, essentially. And so if we look at the genetic material of the, of the cell during the metaphase, it will still have 46 chromosomes with 92 chromatids, of course. The cell in metaphase will then enter anaphase. Now, this might sound a bit confusing, but I hope you can follow this. So in anaphase, essentially, the centrosomes with the microtubules 
will pull the duplicated uh, chromosomes apart, like so. And so, um, so one chromatid will go towards one uh, sense, uh, centrosome, and the other will go to the other centrosome, because it's being pulled apart. And so in anaphase, the centromeres, which hold the duplicated chromosomes together, will split, and the chromatids will separate. The chromosomes will then move to opposite spindle poles, the chromatids. And then the spindle poles will move further apart, ready for division. So just recapping, this is the centrosome, and this is the centromere, which previously held the duplicated chromosome. So let's look at the process of what happens with the genetic material during anaphase. So before anaphase, we had, remember, a duplicated chromosomes, two chromatids per one chromosome. So in total, we had 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. During anaphase, the microtubules with the centrosomes will split this apart, essentially, forming two chromosomes, each with one chromatid. So therefore, in total, we would see 92 chromosomes and 92 chromatids in this cell. I hope this makes sense. Now, the cell in anaphase will then enter the last phase of mitosis, which is cello phase. Cello phase is essentially when we see the centrosome with the microtubules pulling the chromosomes closer to each of their poles. And then we also see a membrane forming around it. And so in cello phase, um, what we see is the chromosomes are clustering at opposite spindle poles, like so. The chromosomes become dispersed. The nuclear envelope will assemble, and the organelles will reform. And so this is our nuclear envelope, which is reassembling, essentially. So now, if we were look, to look at the, the genetic material of the cell during cello phase, it would have, this would represent one chromosome, which has one chromatid. And therefore, the cell would have in total 92 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. The cell will then enter um, the last phase of M phase, not mitosis, but the last phase of M phase, known as cytokinesis. Now, cytokinesis is not part of mitosis, but it is part of M phase. And it is essentially the separation of um, the cell into two daughter cells. And therefore, each of these um, daughter cells will have 46 chromosomes each, or 23 pairs of chromosomes each. And of course, one chromosome will have one chromatid, so it will have 46 chromatids. And this is because, remember, the cell in cello phase had 92 chromosomes. So if this cell with 92 chromosomes divide, it will have 46 on one daughter cell and another 46 in the other. Following cytokinesis, these cells can enter the cell arrest phase or it can enter the whole interphase and then enter mitosis again after a while or after some time. So now mitosis can be defined as the process um, by which duplicated chromosomes separate into two nuclei. And this is essentially the uh, division process. Hope you enjoyed this video on the cell cycle. Oh, we looked at the interphase and we looked at mitosis in quite detail. It's important to know the number of chromosomes and chromatids in each of these steps to understand what is actually happening. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.